Squad, what's happening with y'all baby tall guy in the flesh? Back with another legendary video. Today's video is brought to you by and sponsored by Los Angeles Dodge Jeep Chrysler Ram. That's LACDJR, downtown LA, where I bought my gold Hellcat Red Eye along with my gold Ram Rebel. So if you want to go over there and check out all their legendary inventory that they got growing over there, make sure you click that link below in the description. Make sure you hit up my guy Sean. Make sure you call out there. Check out all the great specials that they got going on right now. But for now, let's get this video started, baby. Now we're here at Tire Stickers. Got my guy Keith right here. Say what's up, man. What's up, guys? That's the owner of Tire Stickers right there. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they just put the tire stickers on there. We cleaned the 2.0 with the flags, man. You know what I mean? Top level. It looks way better. Before I had uh, these right here on my McLaren. If you big G Squad, you watch every video. You know, I had these Frost Editions on my McLaren. But I think this is actually a better look right here. And if you look right here in the front, it's a smaller tire, obviously, so you're gonna get the smaller tire stickers. So they, uh, my guy Keith did a great job with doing that and stretching it out on there, making it look top level. And then to the back, you get the more chunkier look, the wider, bigger front with the flags. All around, I just think it's a great look. And shout out to all the G Squad that came up here when my McLaren was up here, right, Keith? Yeah, yeah. Big G Squad. He said they poke their head in every now and again when the whip is in. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to y'all, man, for everybody that came up here and show love. I know the whip looks different in person. They was tagging me and stuff on Instagram too. Yeah. And it was like, cause this is a, this is a car, all, my, all three of my cars are cars. You can only appreciate it if you really truly see in person. In videos, don't get me wrong, it's top level. Pictures, top level, but in person, so it's a completely, totally different understanding. Right Keith? Yeah, blows your mind. Yeah, thank you brother, appreciate it. Thank you for uh, getting it together too for me, man. Yeah. I need the new time. tire sticker. So now everything's complete. We got a little few, little more adjustments that we're gonna do on here. But all in all, this is pretty much done, man. So now we're gonna head up out of here and uh, see when we get to the crib, baby. Now we're back at the crib, y'all. Everything is kosher and copacetic. I want to give a big RIP to Nipsey Hussle, man, because, you know, that's where I got my whole blueprint from. You know, it wasn't like a thing when he passed away, you know, and condolences to him and all his family. Um, I followed his blueprint from the time I came home from prison, man. And um, that's why I put the marathon flag on every last one of my cars and tires um, with the tire stickers, because it's me, it's my way of paying homage to Nipsey Hussle and the blueprint that he laid, you know, for me to be doing what I'm doing, you know what I mean? It's, it's concoction of everybody that's inspired me and motivated me, you know, to get to this point where I'm at. You know, obviously God, first and foremost, my support cast and whatnot, you know, and I ain't even made it to the top yet, but I'm damn sure trying to get there. But Nipsey also, his blueprint, what he talked about in his songs and everything like that. If you're real Big G Squad, you've been following me since I was in Minnesota years before, you know, that whole situation happened with Nip. You know what I mean? Y'all know I've been rocking with him for a long time. I've been listening to him since I came home from prison and watching his interviews, listening to his music, it inspired me to be where I'm at. So my thing is I always say, is the grind don't stop. Nipsey Hustles is the marathon continue. But with my grind don't stop, I always put the marathon flag right there with it because it's symbolical to the blueprint that I've you know, learned from him and that I do every single day that I apply to myself. And I was doing that before him. But once I actually like listen to his music, watch his interviews, like it fueled my grind. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I always say, 
grind don't stop because it can't stop, man. Not if you want to get to the top. But now it's all done. I got it on my truck, as y'all can see. Boom, 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 boom. And then if you look over to the other Hellcat tire, which I'm gonna get that floating cap replaced on there. It's in the car. Y'all already know that. Y'all watch every video, but got the marathon flags on there as well. And then we come over here. Y'all already seen it. Got the marathon flags on the uh, McLeese 2.0 as well. So now we got the 2.0 everything. We got the McLeese 2.0, we got the LKC 2.0, we got the Grand Reese 2.0, man. But that's not it for this video, y'all. I got some more for y'all, so just stay tuned. But for right now, I'll catch y'all in a minute. Stuff I've never done. Before. That's right. You know, I'm gonna do track strip shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do track shit. Skinnies on it, tire in the back. Everything. The biggest one you can yeah. get. Hell yeah. With the smallest rim. Smallest rim. Put a 15 inch conversion in the back. Yep. Same yeah. thing in the front too. Yeah, there you go. Well, obviously not the same conversion. Right, right, right. Y'all right. 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 get what the hell I'm saying. I'm gonna do all the racing brain shit that y'all been wanting me to do. Now I said I was gonna do for the longest. I, I did that to my last LK, okay, build it up, but I ain't going all the way to the loop like what you about to do. I stopped right before you think a break. Oh, we're taking it all the way. All the way to the loop. And it is what it is, and we go to the drag show, we go to the That's it, hell yeah. You mean 687, 644 torque. Oh, it was that quick, huh? So. Is that about right? That's about right, yeah. It's about a 20% loss from from the crank to the wheels. So, obviously, also, the diameter of the wheel is probably going to change some of the horsepower. But, um, overall, I mean, it's pretty good. Okay. And then, uh, so next time it comes around, we'll be up there in the nines. Okay. High nines or 1,000, tapping 1,000. What's the highest you ever went on a red eye? Uh, on a red eye so to far, the to the wheel, it's been 965. We're going to try to push the limit on yours. Not too where it's a dangerous or anything like that, just enough. We're going to add like a throttle body. We're going to add, you know, four little upgrades to it just to see if we can tap that 1,000. Right. So for the people out there that ain't been watching every video, because a lot of motherfuckers that ain't watching every video. Right, so right. For them people, what are all the uh, things that you're modifying on my car? So we'll be doing upper pulley, lower pulley, dry shaft, uh, diff brace. We'll be upgrading the injectors. We already got a full exhaust. Yeah, we already got the exhaust. Long tube Long tube headers, a 180 T stat. So pretty much that's it. And it, it don't take much to make this baby up. Right, I was, I was thinking, uh, should we do E85 or no? E85 definitely, because that's how we're going to get up to that so that's all, Okay, so that's yeah, part of it. If we stay 91, 850-ish. Uh, oh, we can do E85. Yeah, E85, yeah. 100%. Yeah, we'll be good. Okay, well, there y'all go, man. So we ain't got to do no more pulls. This is the number. This is it. Unless you want to do one more? Fuck it. Just one, right, one time for the one time for the one time. Why not? Why not? Same thing, Same huh? thing, yep. Same back thing. to back. Back to back. That's how you know he did it right. That's right. <laughs> you. Well, you got the key in there, brother. Got everything. So, y'all heard the uh, Hell Keezy fire up, come to life on the dyno. That's pretty much all y'all getting for today. Um, I wanted to give y'all the numbers. I remember I did this before, and I didn't run my last Hellcat on the dyno um, to give y'all, you know, the factory numbers. So that way, once we do all the modifications, that, that way y'all can be, um, you know, all the way in the loop as far as the whole build piece by piece, you know, everything, you know, combined all together collectively, you know, so when it's done, like I said, uh, well, pretty much Alex said, you know, we're going for a thousand to the wheel, right? Somewhere in the high nines, low thousands, whatever, you know, so we're going to see how I go. But this one, I'm not holding, you know, no bar with anything on this one. I'm doing everything that can be done to the Hellcat Red Eye, you know what I'm saying? And um, I got some big news coming with my truck and uh, my McLaren as well. I got more things coming after that. And as far as my Hellcat is concerned, like I said, everything is getting done from drag radius to the drag strip to the track. I'm also, I want to take my McLaren to the track too. I still got my factory rims and tires. I just think it'll be fun. I've never done something like that before. So I'm going to test it out and see what it's like, man. But for now, 
I'll catch y'all in the next video. Tall guy, I'm out. See y'all, baby. <laughs>